Hey YouTube, JC here. I'm gonna do a quick little knife video. Um, there's a bunch of people that had videos like this. You can go search for more of them. I just thought it'd be something cool to do because I'm getting ready to color these scales. Um, if you have a knife that's got any type of synthetic scale like this, you can color it with a writ dye. It's very, very easy. And this is what it looked like before. This is a different knife. This is one of my Adams. Um, and this is jade is what they call it. So this is basically like a, just a synthetic material, but anything that's synthetic, you can color. So this is all you have to do. You have to get some writ dye and they have a synthetic and then they have just a regular, they say the synthetic works better with stuff like this. I've used both, haven't had an issue. Um, I did a couple other ones. I did um, some uh, spider coat knives, turned out really, really good. I mean, this one, like I said, it came basically in this this color. I mean, you can get a lot of different colors from uh, Three Rivers Manufacturing already made, or already colored. But what I like about these is, I mean, you can do whatever you want. All it is is two little screws, and then on this side, you have three screws. So that's really all you have to do. So what I do is I take them off, you put them in a pot. Um, you don't really have to go by 100% of the directions on this. It says to use like a certain amount per gallon. I basically, cause I was gonna save it and put in the gallon jug. I just put this in basically a pot and just added water to it. So it was kind of about a gallon of water and you just get it to a rolling bowl. And once you get it, I kind of do it like a lower bowl kind of. And once you get it to that, all you have to do is, I take some mechanics wire. You can use coat hanger or, or clothes hanger, um, whatever you want, but I have mechanics wire that I use. And you want to do them both at the same time. Um, like I said, this, this knife is very, very easy. You just take the screws out. This one I had to pretty much take apart. Um, and what you do is you don't have to really time it. You can just do it by, by eye. I get the water boiling and you have them both in at the same time. Then that way they color evenly and you just dunk it in, wait about 10 seconds, pull it out and look at it. Now it will be a little lighter when you pull it out than it does when it dries. After you wash it off and dry it, it gets a little darker. I've noticed but this I think turned out good. This was a uh, Royal blue, I believe. And I did this one for, I think for about 30 seconds. I dipped it about three times, I think. And um, it doesn't really take that long at all. And that's really all you have to do. Like I said, when you do um, clothes, I think there's other directions where you have to add vinegar and all this stuff, literally. All, and I've seen people too, where they just put it in a cup and they do it in a cup like that. I find that if you boil it, it actually works a lot better. Um, Cause I tried it before like that. And it just wasn't dying correctly, in my opinion. You, you really have to get it hot to get it to uh, soak into the material. Um, and I, you know, I really like this type of material. Um, you can get it. You can get these atoms, and they have like the three D ones where they're uh, different. Um, the edges are kind of filed down and stuff like that, you know. But for a work knife, I use this as a work knife, and I'm probably going to do it in the green. Um, I already have an orange one. I have some of the um, Neutrons, I had those in different colors too. Like I have a, a blue one in that. It's more like a lighter royal blue. Um, th I'm pretty sure that's what they call that one. But I like these for work. And the reason I like brighter colors is if you, if you have a black knife or something at work and you lay it down, you might lose it. I mean, that's just, I, I've, I had a, a Kershaw one time and it was black and I lost it and that's what happened. And ever since then, whenever I take a knife to work, Nine, nine times out of 10, it's got like a brighter color to it. And this is, you can see it, but I, I just have a feeling it's, I mean, you can wash them off, but I just got a feeling it's gonna get grease and everything else on it. So kind of dye it somewhat color. I have an orange one I take to work too. And the cool thing about the atoms is, I mean, like this one's a titanium. So I have a titanium and a carbon fiber that I take out to town with me and stuff. And you don't really necessarily have to buy more than one. I just do it because even though it's, it's only a couple of screws, it's just cool to have different knives and I guess I kind of collect them, you know, and, and I just said, I mean, I do use them. It's not like I don't use them. Like I said, I carry a knife every day. So, but that's just a cool, quick video. It's just a description more than anything. Um, just letting you guys know that if you get these synthetic scales like G10, um, I mean, some of the other synthetic materials, anything that's kind of plasticky, you can dye, but it has to be a lighter material first. So like, if you get black, you're not going to be able to dye it yellow. But if it's like a lighter color, like yellow or gray or something like this, you're going to be able to dye it a different color. So anyways, I'll post another video if you guys want after I get this one done. Uh, I wasn't going to do it in the video because 
it's kind of messy to be honest with you. And that's another thing too. If you have a hot plate, do it outside because if you get that dye on anything, it's going to stain it. So anyways, this is JC again. Just a cool little video. Let me guys know what you think or if you've done it before.